everyone, it's Diabetic Danica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to be cash, so I was like, I'm just gonna hold a pillow. Oh wow, it has a hole in it. That's cute. Um, so I'm getting over a sickness. I was just sick and um, I'm recording two videos in one day. So if I just said that in another video, it's the same sickness. I'm not sick again. However, I did want to tell you about the Basil IQ feature of the Tandem T Slim X2 insulin pump that I've been trying out. So if you missed my video kind of reviewing the Tandem t Slim X2 on a whole, I will link that down below. I did both an unboxing and a review of my thoughts of the pump as a whole, but I also wanted to talk about my thoughts on the Basil IQ feature, which is a new upgrade to the pump. So basically Basil IQ, it links the Dexcom G6 with the Tandem t Slim t Slim times 2, the Tandem t Slim times 2 times 2. <laughs> I have sick brain. The Tandem T Slim X2 insulin pump. So I've been using the Dexcom G6 for a while. I have a bunch of videos on that, so I'll link some down below as well. But basically, it links those two together so that your pump can suspend for either a predicted low blood sugar or a low blood sugar. So I still have not chosen um, my specific insulin pump yet, but I'm still trying out the Tandem insulin pump from my work um, as kind of like a loner to try out. And so I was blessed enough to be also given, be also given, also be given the Basil IQ feature to try out. And I love it so much. <laughs> it is so nice to just have one less thing that I have to do for my diabetes. like. Before, I would often suspend my pump, either because I would take a look at my CGM, I'd see what my blood sugar is, see that I'm trending down, and so I'd try to prevent a low by suspending or greatly reducing my basal. And I feel like I do this fairly often, and so it's great that now I'll look at my pump and I'll just see, oh, my pump already took care of that for me. Um, because I still have my Dexcom on my phone as well, so I have it on my phone and my pump because I like to be able to see it on my phone. So I love that I can look at it on both devices. Um, but sometimes I'll look at it on my phone and I'm like, oh, I am kind of trending down, I'm at this number, I think I should turn off my basil. And so I'll go into the pump and I'll see, oh, my pump already did that for me. You can choose to have the pump alert you when it turns off the basil, but I chose to not have it alert me because I just wanted to take care of it in the background. And so um, it's a great surprise if I look and see, oh, I'm actually suspended right now, like the pump caught it way before I did. Because the pump's only job is blood sugar control and I have a million things I'm doing every day. Another great thing is overnight. So I love when I wake up in the morning, I didn't have any alarms go off all night and I see that my pump suspended multiple times and kept me in range. Like, that is my favorite thing. I'll definitely insert some pictures of the screen of my pump. So when you show red bars, like when you see red bars in my CGM graph, that is when the pump suspended. And the Dexcom G6 gets a blood sugar every five minutes. So if it predicts that you're going to be low in the next, I can't remember if it's 20 or 30 minutes, it will suspend your pump, or of course if you're already low, it'll suspend your pump. And so the idea is that it minimizes or completely prevents the time that you're low. So there have been times where my CGM kind of trends toward the low line, I see that it suspends and it comes back up to normal, maybe trends toward the low line, it suspends, comes back up to normal, and I never go low and I never go high and it's just the best. Um, and it can suspend and resume as quickly as every five minutes. So it can shut off just for five minutes and come right back on. Um, so I love how fine-tuned it is in that sense. I also love that it doesn't need any input from me to turn back on. I have it set so that it will suspend my pump without alarming and also resume without alarming. I don't have to do anything about it. Of course it will alarm once I actually go low because my CGM alert is set to alarm for lows, um, but before that it won't bug me before I ever get low. Except for I do have the urgent low soon alarm on which basically alerts you if it predicts you're going to be 55 in the next 20 minutes. I've noticed the feature working really, really well. I haven't really had a lot of rebound highs or anything like that after the suspending. Because like I said, often I'd have to suspend my pump anyway if I was trending low and I would still sometimes need a snack, of course, even before when I would suspend it myself. Same thing goes now when the pump suspends, suspends me. Sometimes I still do need to orally have a snack. Um, but I haven't noticed that it's increased the amount of times that I spike high afterwards or anything like that. It's pretty much the same as it was before, it's just less work by me. And it can catch them overnight when I'm not usually waking up in the middle of the night to suspend my pump. So it's been amazing, it's been so nice to just feel like 
it's not all on me. Like, it sounds cheesy, but I'm the one who's taking care of my diabetes, so it's nice that the pump can do a little bit of that for me. So I'm a big fan of the feature, and um, I can't wait to see what they come out with next. So if you're using Vasil IQ, or if you're interested about it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I make new videos about diabetes all the time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!